Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you the different ways that you can add HTML to your RapidWeaver pages. So to start with we're going to use a styled text page. So we'll go and add one of those to our pages list here. And what I'm going to do is on my desktop I've got a folder of assets that I've been using in some other videos. I'm just going to drag in a paragraph of text and then I'm going to just split that up so that we can work on it. So in a styled text page, you can highlight the text and for example, make it bold, italic or underlined like so. So this is the styled part of the uh, styled text page. And obviously we can set different fonts and things like that. But if you have some HTML code that you want to use, you might think that you need to add a HTML code page. Well, you could do that and you can write HTML directly into here. So this is essentially an HTML editor. So we could write an H1 tag and just say hello, like so. Whoops. And if we were to preview this page, we would get that converted to HTML. So that would render the HTML for us. However, if we copy this, and we go back to our styled text page. So I'm going to actually rename this as styled text. So we know what we're working on and this one as HTML. And what we could do at the top here is just paste this code in. Now, if we preview that, you'll see we get essentially the same result. We've got the H1 has been converted and rendered as an H1, even though we were using a styled text page. So this is very powerful because what we can do is we can actually mix and match HTML with the style text. So if I wanted, let's say this paragraph, for example, to be bold, we could do that like so. And then if I wanted this text to be a link, we could do it like so. But we've still got our HTML up here. Now we can go even further. And if you have, uh, I don't know, something like a gallery slideshow that you want to add to your page and you need to add more advanced HTML, you can still do that. So for example, if we needed to write a div with a class of say gallery, whoops, and then we had say an unordered list in here with a couple of list items. Let's just put image one in here as an example. And we'll copy that and do image two. Obviously, this is just example code. You might have something more advanced. And then we'll just close out the div there. So now you can see we've got a wrapper div with a class of gallery. And then we've got an unordered list in here with a couple of images. And then we have the closing end div tag to close off the uh, gallery there. So if we preview this, you'll see we still get that. We still get the rendered unordered list in here. However, what you might find is if you've got more advanced code where there are perhaps some different characters and a lot of classes and things like that, what you'll want to find or what you'll want to do is highlight your HTML code, go to the format menu and select ignore formatting because what this will do is tell RapidWeaver that this part of the style text area should not be formatted as styled. So we want this to be essentially code. We want the raw output. So you can choose it from the format menu or you can press command period on your keyboard. What will happen then is the background there will turn red and you know that this section is being outputted as you see it. So RapidWeaver won't touch any of this page. It won't attempt to put any HTML tags around it. It won't attempt to make it bold or anything like that. You will literally get the code that you paste into this page. So we'll likely want to do that for the H1 at the top here as well. So we'll ignore the formatting and we'll see that that turns red. Now when we preview that, you'll see that we get the exact same result. And that's because our HTML is fairly basic. There's not much going on and we haven't got much styling going on on the page either. So RapidWeaver is smart enough to be able to interpret that this first line was HTML, this was HTML and the rest was styled. It worked it out for us.
So the style text page is really powerful in this way. If you find yourself uh, essentially just writing HTML or you've got a lot of code that you want to paste into the page and you don't need to do any of the styling or linking, I would suggest you use the HTML code page. However, in most cases, I think you'll find the style text area or the style text page to be uh, pretty handy. Now, the other thing to note is that in any style text area, which is most of the text areas inside of RapidWeaver, you can do the exact same thing. So for example, in the sidebar, if you go to the sidebar settings in the page inspector, you have a sidebar title, which is not a style text area. This is just the title area. But in here, this is a style text area. So what we could do is copy and paste in, for example, this and paste it in here and you'll see that it's styled so the first part was bold I'm just gonna reduce the size of that so we can see it and you can also see that we've got the link and you get a couple of styling options at the bottom here as well so if I highlight this text you'll see that we can link or unlink things and we can also set the text area to actually be styled or HTML so this option here works in the same way as the two pages over here you either have the styled text area where you can mix and match HTML and styled code, uh, sorry, styled text, or you can have just a plain HTML area. Okay, so if we preview this and we have a look, you'll see we get the bold text and we also have the link. But if we want to take it even further again, and if we copy this block of code here, we can paste that into our styled text area for the sidebar. So if I paste that in, you'll see we still get the HTML outputted. So we get that unordered list there. So as I say, in all of these style text areas inside of RapidWeaver, you can mix and match uh, style text and HTML directly in the box. And as you've seen me use the formatting menu already in this video, uh, the sidebar, for example, doesn't have that styling at the bottom. So what you'll need to do is highlight your uh, text that you want to style, go to the formatting menu, and you can choose any of the settings here, or you can even set it as an HTML tag. So if we wanted that piece of text to be an H4, for example, we could do it like so. You'll then see that that gets a green background. Now that means that we have applied an HTML tag to it. So from the format menu, we've set something here to be for this text and you'll see that that automatically updated in the preview window for RapidWeaver there. Okay, so that will just about do it for this video. Hopefully you've seen a couple of nice different ways to add both styled text and HTML to your pages. I'd encourage you to have a play around with this and as I say, in most of the text areas in RapidWeaver you're able to mix and match uh, both styled text and HTML. So that'll do it for now. Happy weaving and I'll see you in the next video.